Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Yes, guys, welcome back. Um, we just want to say so thank you guys that we have been getting so far, and um, we just want to share with you today about our journey that we are on currently, because we are currently living in the, the Cayman, Cayman Islands. Islands. Yes, Grand Cayman um, Island. So, guys, we are originally from Jamaica. We are yes, we are Jamaicans. Despite how Kerry would want to say that I speak um, proper, but I don't think that I speak that proper. And she says she chat patwa. Yes, guys, so we want to share our journey with you about how did we come to be living in the Cayman Islands. So we just want you to check out our intro and then come back to the video. Yes, guys, welcome back. So our journey started when Kerry decided to go online and search for job opportunities overseas, where she actually was sending resumes to... I was sending resumes to Canada because that was my first option to go mm -hmm. to Canada. And um, it were, I was waiting on Chad one evening from work and got bored in the car and started sending out some resumes. By sending out the resumes, I end up sending to Cayman Islands. But um, I didn't know that I have sent to Cayman Islands in a sense that I was just sending because I was getting frustrated in sending out um, resumes and not getting any response. And then one day I got a response from one of the emails that I have, the resume that I have sent out. And um, it was from the Grand Cayman. Okay, so um, Kerry actually came to the Cayman Islands and started working. And In 2019. 2019. So she was here from, I think it was September? October. It was October. So we actually came to visit in December. That is Kareem and I. Kareem is our son, as you would see in the intro. Um, yeah, we came to visit in December. But even that is a miracle on its own. When I was supposed to go back to Jamaica, I actually saw a job that was advertising in my field. Oh not really a coincidence because for me Kau now have no incident in a god so I actually applied for the job and went back to Jamaica when I was in Jamaica I got a call actually got a call I think it was an email saying an interview is scheduled and if I confirm so I actually confirmed for the interview and did a on the phone interview yes guys on the phone and I don't want to say the rest is history but when you're coming to the Cayman Islands on a work permit, there are a few stuff that is required. You have to do a medical zine, you have to do blood work, you have to do police record. Um, anything else, Melly Ford? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, police record, blood works, um, medical. Yeah, medical in, involve x ray your chest. Dep well, it depends. If you come on a three months, I think it's less than six months, you don't have to do the x ray But once it's a work permit that is more than six, Aye, months, six months, you have to do the chest x ray And that they cost a little bit of money, you know? When I say a little bit, I mean small sum, but it cost some funds. So you have to have those things in place. And you have to send those things from Jamaica to the Cayman Islands by FedEx. Yeah, man. Yeah, for FedEx, the, the, the thing them. So, um, it's not just get up to my man and say, all right, you get a job offer and you just come to the Cayman Islands. Also, 
you have a source where you're going to live because on the document it says accommodation yes brethren accommodation and i'm going to tell you about housing no we have to go do a totally different video about housing but you have to show where you're going to live while you're in the cayman islands so that is another factor you have to look at but as i said that is a totally different video in terms of housing and the cost of living in cayman islands and being now that it's um we call it a covid time back then you never have a quarantine now vaccinated or no vaccinated you have to quarantine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you can't be in the same house with somebody yeah man you have to quarantine you by, by yourself, yourself 14 days so you have to calculate this now you know start working so if you have money for pay for one house to quarantine for 14 days before you can even start work then you have to go do your tests and all goes well after your tests then you can start work so those are things that you have to factor in now when i came to the cayman islands it was actually march you came one week before covid yeah man as i came covid hit praise be to god i'm still working yes virgin i am still working because it could have not been that way because the the, 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 the whole the whole tourism industry shut down during covid so that is one year now one year since that yeah man so the whole tour tourism months. yeah the whole tourism sector had shut down and a lot of people were sent home so for me to just come covid locked down the country in a march. march people start go home by by me i think it was like april. a month after april yeah yeah people just start go to ship out of the country like crazy and may i tell you at that time god proved himself because normally it, it, it is last hired first fired and that was not so bridging that was not so so sometimes you have to just step out in a faith and trust that god will work out the situation oh another thing when i came care actually her hours was cut yeah man she was working less hours but i had had still my set hours so brother may i tell you sometime when god i work it out for you in just i work it out so we have a Pick up Daddy Jesus. Straight. Can't lift him out. Um, let me see if we're lifting out anything in terms of our journey. And guys, you can um, email us or ask us questions in the comments. And we will see how best we can inform or assist you guys. We are not any immigration officers or counselors. We don't know anything about. No, we don't know nothing. Nothing about immigration. We are only speaking from our experience. We are not even speaking from person's experience. We are just speaking from what we experience, and we can inform you guys about what we experience and the process that we went through to come to the Cayman Islands. Oh, and <clears throat> another thing. Some time when I left on a yard. And I come a foreign first day with people, be careful. Well, Kerika and I try look a shade, she does I say, just be careful when you make certain steps because persons will, you know, this all over, not just once you got foreign, persons will welcome you. But, but me always tell her that listen, anywhere I'm going overseas, I want to stay for. Two wow. weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks, yeah, two weeks. The first week, everybody glad for sale. The second week, when time bills ready for pay, everybody I wonder when you left them place. Because you eat food, you run up water, and you use up light. But that wasn't the case. <laughs> well, that wasn't the case, but me just I say, you know, you have to look out for them little things there. Eh? Not saying that nobody throw no shade power, we, but we just a point out look of pointers to look out for. Um, the video might be a bit long, but brethren, there are many more things that we can tell you. Some of them we can't do it in the video. We might can do a one-on-one, -on -one, 
um, with persons to inform them as to what we know. Basically, as I said, what we know and experience. And bear, and again, we don't work with immigration. No, not at all. And we don't have any links, links to, to immigration. immigration. <laughs> yes, because enough people say, oh, you get through links. And we, no, we don't have no links to nobody. We can only tell you our experience. Care went online, type in jobs overseas, and that she sent out some resume. Somebody replied. I came and visit, look on EK Trade, saw a job in my field, applied, and that's how I'm here, and that's how she's here. And remember, Cayman expensive. Well, cost of living is high. <laughs> I wouldn't say, well, people say expen it really expensive, because sometimes, as I said, the housing... It's expensive. Listen, the housing thing, they're on a different level. When Chad just came... But... To Cayman mm. here, and, and every time him take out phone, I calculate. Listen, when you calculate a fifty dollar and you calculate the exchange rate, a different thing. But we're gonna leave that for another video. So check us for part two, Zin. So this is a part one how we came to the Cayman Islands. Link us to part two, Zin. And again, like, share, and subscribe. Tell us about what you would want to hear about our journey or anything just give us some comment we try to respond to every comment that is placed in the comments and thank you guys for viewing like share subscribe tell a friend about us we're just a start all right yeah man we, we want the subscribership for build up zine so we can go live and talk to you and tell you our journey and we can have one-on-one -on -one reasoning with everybody yeah man and again thanks again for tuning in thanks for watching us thus far and look out for part two see